Greetings from Cybertron. This is Soundjack here with a review of the Beast Machines Transformers Basic Class Buzzsaw. So we have Buzzsaw here, a very small character from Beast Machines, just more so in terms of size, um, because he wasn't a character in the Beast Machines cartoon because that was a very, very small cast. However, um, the note of this character was that there was a buzzsaw in Beast Wars that was a Predacon, but because they decided to go with Maximals and Viacons as the enemies, buzzsaw, this buzzsaw is actually a Maximal. Um, just a note, but he's probably turned code or something, or just, you know, realized he's either gonna be a Technorganic Wasp, or he's gonna get uh, absorbed into the Megatron conglomerate, so he decided to go with the Maximals. I guess, I don't know what the story is behind him. But anyway, let's take a close look at his toy. And like I said, he turns into a techno-organic wasp, and it's a very neat looking wasp boat. Uh, taking a look at the wasp head, and you can see he's got a yellow lower face uh, with uh, yellow mandibles going on and yellow nose, okay. Um, his eyes are in a, looks like a translucent red quality. He's got four like eye slits kind of going on there. And then a bit of uh, black going around those. And then you got the gr some green up here and green antennas going on. And that's a very nice color palette going on there actually. Uh, coming to the back, you got a bit of green fading into yellow coloration going on there, which is very nice up to the wings. You got a little bit of black going on, a little black all around the edges, and then some translucent yellow going on there with a little bit of tinge of green at the edges going on of these wings. A um, bit of yellow in the body, a little bit of black in the body. Uh, at the legs, uh, they're all mostly green with a bit of black paint on like the kneecaps and the tips or the feet of the of them. Um, and there's six of them, and they're all pretty much decoed the same way, though they are molded in slightly different positions. And you come back to here, you got a bit of a yellow right there, and then you actually have like a spring going on on this tail, so you can pose and bend uh, the clear or the, tr the translucent orange stinger however you want, however it doesn't hold position, but you can stretch it out. You're able to stretching that out, bending it around and all that. It just doesn't stay in any of those positions. And then back to the stinger, it's all translucent to orange, except for the stinger bit itself, which is in solid green. Uh, it's very, very simple, but a very neat toy. Um, I was actually been looking online for one of these because uh, Beast Machine, the Beast Machines toys um, fall into a very similar category of movie toys for me as uh, the fact that the ones that weren't on the screen are the better ones in my opinion because they don't have to worry about looking screen accurate and a lot of the Beast Machines characters that were on screen do not look anything like their toys and it just just, just doesn't work. It just doesn't work for a lot of them. Um, but since this is a Beast Former, there's some articulation. The head is able to rotate side to side. It's able to rotate that far and that far though, I've unfortunately, oh, some, some down Word movement but no upward movement. Um, the front two sets of legs um, are conjoined and they're on these hinges so they really don't do anything besides that. You can get them to position a bit lower, um, kind of position a bit more where they'd be sitting but you don't get a whole lot of movement out of them. Uh, but the back legs, when they're on a joint that allows them they're, they're conjoined together as well, but they are able to move side to side, move up and down. They have a bit more freedom, but um, don't know how useful that really is since all the other joints on the legs are solid, um, but it's an option there. Um, the wings, they are able, they are on rotational joints um, because these will actually be the robot legs, just a spoiler for that. Um, they can rotate full 360 there. There's a ball joint there that allows them to move in and out. And there's a hinge right there that allows them to bend up and down like so. Um, so you can get a good flapping motion out of those wings. And then the tail, um, the tail is able to hinge up and down on that section. It can completely rotate at a few different places. Um, it's able to rotate over here. Um, able to rotate 
there. And, oh, sorry. I thought there was another place to rotate it. I guess I was just getting confused by um, just how it looked like, because I thought this section down here could also rotate, but I guess it doesn't. Um, and then um, the stinger is just there. And you can also get the tail to pit, wiggle up and wiggle down as well using that hinge. That hinge is actually a hinge, but not just a rotational place. Um, but yeah, that's all there is to say on Bussa in his boss mode. So let's get into some size comparisons. So here he is next to Legends class Bumblebee. And you can see how they scale. Deluxe class Chrome Dome. And you see Bussa is just a little bit longer than Chrome Dome is with that tail. Voyager class Megatron. And you can see Megatron's just a little bit longer than Buzzsaw's stinger tail. And then leader class six shot. And you can see how that scales. So yeah, that's all there is to say on Buzzsaw in his wasp mode. So now let's roll right along to his robot mode. So this is gonna be a fun little transformation. Um, first thing you're gonna do, you're gonna just get these legs a bit out of the way so we have a little room to operate. And then you're gonna come down here and take this, uh, these back legs and just fold them down on that joint. So we need to fold them this way to get them out of the way. And then we're gonna come here and we're gonna untab this entire section right here. Uh, this tab just goes into that slot right there. Sorry, that tab to that slot right there. And you're gonna rotate this all the way around and fold it in like that. And then you're gonna come down here, pull that entire section out of that socket, rotate it around, and just have it sit like that for now. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna come around and we're gonna to have to move two sections at once to get all the clearance. So the, we're gonna to have to fold the wings and the head around pretty much together because they're both gonna to need to basically go where they were. So we got the head out of the way a bit, so now we can move this section down and that'll just lock into place. And then we can finish rotating the head forward. And we'll just come down here while we're at it and just straighten out the legs. The legs are all done. And then we're gonna fold down the wasp head since that will form the robot mode chest. And then uh, the robot mode head just pops out of place. And then we'll come over here, do that, fold the arm down, open up the stinger, and then just stick the stinger into that claw. And then just come over here. Whoops, I pulled the ball joint off. Sorry about that. And we'll just move, fold that down and leave it like that. And then we'll just come to the back and fold the legs together on the back, just so they are out of the way. And there you have Buzzsaw in his robot mode. And he, like I said, he is a very interesting transformation. He does things that um, other Transformers wouldn't do, especially because uh, he's an insect. Um, but he also does something that most um, insect formers don't do in the fact that his ro his bug mode wings make up his legs and that's very neat. That's a very nice transformation touch. He also just got some interesting arms going on here, <laughs> which I just, just personally enjoy. Uh, taking a closer look at him, uh, you can see his head is predominantly green. There's a little bit of red on the sides there, uh, a bit of red on the eyes and a little bit of silver picking up those like chin spikes going on there. Um, his chest is made up of his bug mode head, which you already saw. His legs are made out of his bug mode wings, which you already saw. Uh, his right hand is uh, predominantly black until we get into the bug legs, um, which I guess make up a kind of a claw pincher hand, just like the other one, just though kind of different. Um, and then like this one you saw before, the only difference is that is now open. And there is also his um, maximal um, um, symbol going on there. Uh, it's really hard to see with this lighting, but there's like a little orange sphere going on in there. 
and that's um, got a maximal sim uh, the well the beast machine's maximal symbol inside of it. If you can see that, let's see if moving the light back here helps. Yeah, there we go. You can see that. I think you can see that now. Hope you can see what I'm talking about. If not, well, it's all on you. <laughs> Or, well, all on me and just not doing it well enough, but I'm, I'm, I'm doing my best with what I've got. Um, but yeah, uh, for articulation, um, butt sauce head does rotate a full 360 degrees, is able to look up and can't really look down just because of how the head is molded. Um, the arms, uh, they well, the right, the left arm can rotate a full 360 degrees, able to bend that far out and has wrist articulation and a wrist swivel going on there. Um, the other arm uh, is on a ball joint and is able to rotate a full 306 degrees, able to bend that far out. I don't know why this section is not tabbing in, folding in correctly, but I, it, I guess it's never done that for my copy. Um, but as, anyway, we're back to our articulation. Um, there's an elbow ball joint that allows for 360 degree rotation and an elbow bend of 90 degrees. And then you can have the legs hinge in the hand, I guess. I mean, just hinge in the wrist, or the wrist joint. I don't, I don't know what to call that. But they can basically do it. Yeah, they can do a complete 360 in there. Uh, there is nothing at the waist. The legs are able to bend that far forward, um, that far back, and that far out. There is a knee joint that allows 90 degrees of bend. Uh, there is a thigh rotation because of the ball joint, allowing 360 degrees of rotation there, and nothing at the feet. And that's that's all pretty much all there is for a buzzsaw. The only other thing you can really do is just pull the stinger out for a weapon mode, but that's that's about it. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna readjust his hand here. And then we are going to get into some robot mode size comparisons. Here he is next to Legends Class Bumblebee. And you can see that he ends up being quite a bit taller. Fair, fairly a full head and maybe even a little bit more than uh, Bumblebee is. Uh, then we have Deluxe Class Chromebow. And with the head antennae going on, he comes up to just about the top of Chrome Dome's chest there with the, like to the true top of his head. It's only about to the Autobot symbol on there. We got Voyager class Megatron. And he comes solidly up to um, his knees. Well, the head itself comes up to the knees. The antennae kind of come up to above uh, the hips on Megatron. And we have six shot. And the antennae go up to the very bottom of six shot skirt panels and the, the head itself just kind of comes up, well, to the upper point of that joint right there that is his knee. And then, of course, here are the channel's mascots, Soundwave and Wheeljack. So you can see how he looks with them. Whoops. Yeah, overall, Buzzsaw is just a different figure, a little simple figure, uh, and a figure I, I enjoy. Uh, it's certainly different, it's certainly different aesthetics and all of that from most of the Beast Wars stuff, but you know, I like it. I like it. It's different enough to be interesting to me, and I like it, and if you find one for a good price, I'd, I'd recommend doing it. Nothing too expensive, certainly, like, Maybe, I think I got this for five bucks, so that shows you how um, sought after these guys are in, um, what is it now, 18 years later? 18 years after Beast Machines? Yeah, so I'm sure if you want one, you can find one at a very reasonable price. But that is all I have to say for Buzzsaw, so thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, please like and share this video and subscribe to the channel. You can also follow me on Twitter and Instagram at SoundJack426. Also, please consider donating on my Patreon page to help support the channel. All the links will be in the description below. Thanks for tuning in. This is Soundjack signing off.